I don't think I'm gonna make it. Tell me where you are. I'll come. I'll come right now, Jody. Eliciting emotion is the major goal for David Cage's new game, a cinematic choose-your-own-adventure story from the French studio Quantic Dream. In Beyond Two Souls, players will find themselves doing plenty they might not expect from an action game. All week, and I never get to have any fun. The main character is Jody Holmes, played by Hollywood actor Ellen Page. Players jump in and out of different moments of her life as she grapples with a mysterious gift. Her father figure, a research scientist, is played by Willem Dafoe. Hello. Nathan. Jody. Both offer good Jody, performances but the story doesn't always live up to their acting. In particular, on, Holmes, the scenes up. with the adult Jody feel disconnected, like a series of TV episodes where she wanders the earth like Bruce Banner from The Incredible Hulk. She spends time with mystical Navajos in the Southwest, lives with homeless people under a bridge, and naturally befriends a child soldier in Mogadishu. At times, the fighting and racing can feel like inferior versions of more conventional action sequences and the gameplay of look for white dots and then flick at them with your right thumb can get dull. The controls are very simple, almost gesture-based. This makes Beyond very approachable, but it also means that players don't develop that satisfying feeling of mastery that many video games provide. David Cage, the writer and director of Beyond, is one of the more divisive figures in video games because of his focus on using the techniques of cinema to produce interactive storytelling which critics say leads him to overlook the unique things that video games can do. Save me, Aiden. Even fans of Mr. Cage's work are likely to be disappointed, but at least I can say this. It's unlike any other game you'll play this year. Come on!